Welcome to the Transformers Breakdown, episode 32, uh, search for Alpha Trion. This one is a good one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, let's get started. So, there are three female robots right off the bat. That's a huge thing. Like, what? Three female robots? That's awesome. Like, for female movement. You know what I mean? Like, three female. And then you got, they, they have a boss who is Alita 1, and it's like, who's this Alita 1? And you're like, what? Uh, Firestar is a truck. Moon Racer gets caught because she gets greedy. She's like, uh, can I get one more? And it's like, no, Farmer, she just got caught in an invisible box. <laughs> and who is? Who can make invisible boxes? That's the ultimate 3D printer. <laughs> um, Alita is pink. You get discovered to this. Um, so it's like, okay, I guess. Like, the pink color for girls automatically. But it's a strong character, so it's like, really, it's a really interesting take on the color pink. I thought Trion is a head in a ball, which is a common theme that you've seen in a lot of cartoons where you've got the head in a ball and people are talking to it, and you're like, tell us what to do, head in a ball. Um, Alita 1 became purple. She all of a sudden <laughs> became a lighter shade maybe because it's nighttime, and it's like, okay. And who's the gold one? You know, no lines, just the gold one out to the side. Fi notice, notice, Firestar got crushed. And that's a really interesting animation of Firestar. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty gruesome. I'm sorry. Next sh shot, she's alive. So, is she like Super Hulk? Like, where she can like, you know? I don't know, what do you got against female Autobots, the Shockwave? And, um, they got away from him. They used him to destroy the box, and it's an <laughs> invisible box. And they got away. Chromia is a van. So now you've got the element of, um, the truck and a van. And female Autobots. That's really interesting. That's an interesting choice. I like it a lot, actually. Moon Racer is a sports car. Or I like that. That's cool. Uh, maybe there's a whole female Transformer thing that could have been done, but Alita 1 is totally be rewritten. And so does Optimus. Megatron hates Alita 1. Um, so you gotta notice that. And then, who designed a giant red base? <laughs> it goes from red to, like, bright orange. <laughs> and the green one and the gold one. They're just there. You know, nobody notices us. Maybe they do. I don't know. Megatron has Prime's girlfriend. It's like, what? Um, and Lita, <laughs> so this is where I'm convinced that Optimus is like, has a flashback, so he's like, I want to go, I want to go to, uh, Earth with you, and he's like, no, it's too dangerous, stay back, I'm like, um, no, she's like, right there, like, you could have just crossed over, the bomb went off, and she was not inside the ship, and it's like, she could have been saved, but you couldn't do anything about it, because you pushed her away, he's like, stay back, you know, it's like, so he's, like, responsible for her supposed death, I think, I don't know, but she wanted to go. Um, it's too dangerous. So he was like, basically, break it. It's too dangerous! Get away from me! Like, needy girlfriend, come on, relax. Um, I'm going with the guys <laughs> to another planet. I'll return for you as- And then he says to her, he says to her, I'll return for you as soon as we need. It's not as soon as you need, which would be right now. Because <laughs> she wants to go right now, so do you need to go? And she's like, yes! <laughs> the bomb is about to <laughs> destroy! Can I go with you guys? <laughs> Can I get on the ship that doesn't seem to be destroyed by the bomb? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but he says to her, I'll return for you as soon as we need. <laughs> we'll call you when we need ya. <laughs> Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> He's basically giving her them. And then you have a couple, couple, couple. <laughs> like it's all couples. Couple shot, couple shot, couple, couple, couple. Starscream says this should finish you off. And then, um, Shockwave comes in and he's like, uh, no, I have a better idea. Oh, so there's a moment where Prime is being hung from, like, a thing. And at the bottom, <laughs> there's hot floor. <laughs> um, there's just nothing. <laughs> And I thought this was hilarious. Hot floor! Oh no! Uh, Alita has the ability to trip you out. Uh, so her special power kills her. Optimus is glowing. So she gives- she stops time. She goes saves Optimus. She takes him. She heals him. Like basically he's in like a super energy shot. And he's like, hey, I'm here! Right? And so that's what happened. So then she takes him away. He takes her away to Alpha Trion. The Decepticons think that Optimus has died. And he's melted, and it's like, oh, in the acid, or in the floor, in the, in the hot floor. Um, but it's clear acid, so... <laughs> I'm confused, what kind of chemical is this? <laughs> that makes the outside layer invisible. The boys are in trouble, you know, um, the, what's his name? Ironhide, Powerglide, and Inferno. And so the girls come to rescue them, and then Starscream goes, the girls to rescue their boyfriends. And I'm thinking to myself, is there some kind of Transformers people? <laughs> <laughs> like, how did they- how did he know that they were dating? And then Optimus brings her to Alpha Trion, and Optimus kneels, and he holds her up. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, she's a robot, just get her inside, and I'm sure he can fix her. <laughs> you know, is Alpha Trion, Trion a wizard? I don't know. <laughs> can he just touch someone and heal them? Has he done that before? Be Girls. See, the same things that I think that you think that you're like, what? You know? Alpha Trion is telling Optimus that she used her special power as he's touching her, and he's, I believe, his hand is on her vagina, <laughs> or where her vagina would be, you know? So, there's something really weird about that, I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't know. 
Um, Optimus finds his Wee Wee. No. <laughs> Valphatrion tells Optimus, he goes, you guys are the same model, you can, like, plug into each other, and then she can be alive. Optimus is like, um, how would you know that? You're my creator. And he plugs it in, right? And then he basically gives her energy through his penis <laughs> into her vagina. I'm not quite sure. Are we learning about sex in this episode? <laughs> I'm confused. Only my creator can know. That's what Optimus says. So he basically recognizes that this guy might be his father. <gasps> so he's doing it with his girlfriend in front of his father. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird already. Alita lives, you know, she, they, Optimus and Alita are alive and they go fight and whatnot. And then see another again, again, and a couple shot. Gobble, 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 Um, oh, okay, so they ain't our boyfriends, and so they're, so they're not waving. Gold and green are not waving because they are not our boyfriends, and we don't got no boyfriends up on that ship, so we're not gonna wave. That's how we roll. <laughs> That's the attitude that I was like, maybe we're each other's girlfriends. We don't need to wait to you. We don't need to tell nobody. You know, this is how robots roll. <laughs> Alpha Trion is like a father to her, too. So does that mean... <laughs> they had sibling sex in front of their father. <laughs> I am thoroughly confused. Thoroughly confused. Uh, more than you'll ever know, because while you were passed out, he touched her. <laughs> he totally turns on her. He, like, totally, like, uh, I gotta go. Like, we're not together. I don't know if you got the memo. Like, I just came here because, I guess, you're the same model, but we're not together. Like, and I need a robot fighting up here, but we're not together. Like, basically, that's the way he's treating her, I think. That's what, I, that's what I'm reading. And I'll show you why. He got that move where he totally swirls. He's like, what? Bye. Later. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't work out. <laughs> Glad you're alive. <laughs> uh, the others, they don't wave. But Alita, oh, so then Firestar and Moonracer, they're racing because they got boyfriends. They got boyfriends up on that ship. And they, why don't they go with them? <laughs> No, they never, they're like, no, we gotta fight here. It's like, oh, you know, we gotta hold up the front here. Why don't you alternate? Why don't you switch, like, in, like, The Apprentice UK? I don't know. <laughs> so that's the Transformers breakdown. It was an intense one. It was just like, wow. It was just a little too much. It was a little too much for me to handle, so I needed to, like, take it in, you know? Like, wow. Like, this is a kid's cartoon, so. I am gonna continue to do this series. I promise that I'm finished. So I'm gonna continue to talk about all these weirdo things in Transformers and hope you enjoy them. And rate, subscribe, submit. Hello, tell all